I'm going to teach you how to take a grip with your palms facing each other. For many people, it's been ingrained so much in their life that they should have a strong grip or rotate their hands that they don't even know how to take a grip where their palms are actually facing each other. So I'm going to teach you a little trick so you can learn how to do that. What you do is you get something that's square. I'm using a small level. Uh, you can use a piece of wood or anything, but the level works fine. With one hand, I want you to take it and put the one hand on the side of the level with the palm flat against it. Don't worry about it being a perfect grip. Put your thumb on the top and just have your palm facing the level. So now your palm is flat against one side of the level. Take your other hand and do the same thing farther down. So the palm is flat. Now just slide that hand up. Now you've taken a grip where your palms are flat against each other. They're facing each other. This is how you want to do it in the golf swing. You want your palms flat and facing each other. Far too many people will take their one grip like this and then they'll rotate this one down under it to get a strong grip or they'll rotate this one weak and they'll rotate this one strong. That's not what I want you to do. I want your palms facing each other. So take this one, your palm is flat against it, against one side. Take your other hand, do it down farther away from the hand, put your palm flat against it, and then just slide it up. So now you got the feeling of what it feels like to have the two palms against each other. Now transfer that feeling to a club. Take your club with one hand, get it under here and get your palm flat against it. Feel like your palm is vertical, okay? And take the other palm, put it down there in the fingers and just slide it up so it's also flat. So your palms are facing each other vertically. That's how I want you to learn to take a neutral grip. Part of a neutral grip is having your palms facing each other so your hands work naturally in their mechanics. As soon as you start rotating your hands, one hand where it's not facing the other, your mechanics start to get all screwed up. So again, the exercise with this guy, If you want to, just go into Home Depot and borrow one in the aisle and do it in the aisle if you don't have one at home. Take one hand, put the palm flat against the side. Take the other hand, put the palm flat against the side, and just slide it up. Now you've got, have learned the feeling of what it feels like for those palms to face each other. That's what you're shooting for, your palms facing each other in the grip. Now, obviously a grip is smaller than that square, so you're not gonna be able to get, have a flat surface, but what you want is your, the end of this, the butt end of the club, as they say, under this little fat pad here. You don't roll it around, you just let your thumb come down because you want the grip in your fingers. You don't want the grip in your palm. If you roll it around like that, your thumb, your grip is in your palm now because your palm is rolled over the top. You just want to let your thumb come like that. Keep the grip in your fingers. Then take the other hand and put it up in the fingers on the top. So see, they are flat against each other. Both palms are facing each other in this grip. They're not rolled over. I'm not putting in my fingers and then rolling my hands over, okay, to grab it. I'm just holding it in my fingers, holding it in my fingers and then just letting it gently come down like that. It's a finger grip. You don't roll your hands over 
palms over to flatten against it. That's a palm grip. Even though you've got most of it in your fingers, as soon as you roll your palm around it, as soon as you roll your palm around it, you've now got a, that's in your palm. I don't care how much you th say you've started it out in your fingers. You want it in your fingers, and then you just want to let your thumb come down. It's a finger grip. And same with this, in your fingers, and just let your, square it up and let it come down. So your palms are facing each other in the grip. Again, to learn this drill, we're taking our flat square item, putting our palm against it, letting our fingers roll around it, but our palm is square against it. You take our other hand, put our palm square against it, and then just slide it up so they're next to each other. So now you have the feeling of what your palms are supposed to feel like as they're facing each other. And we do the same thing with our golf club. We put it in our fingers, the fat pad under here, it's a finger grip, and then we just let our thumb come down on it. Do not roll it down, let your thumb come down on it. You take this one in your fingers, pull it up, and then just let, your, let it come down onto the other hand. Palms are facing each other in a neutral grip. As you should know by now, I'm big on the neutral grip because I think it's a natural way that you hold the club and I think it's a natural way to, way to hold the club when you're swinging. I think other grips introduce compensations and other problems. I think they introduce more problems than they fix. So do this little trick with a level or something square like this. Learn how to line up with your palms facing each other and go to a neutral grip. It'll be a, feel weird at first uh, because for one thing, it's gonna expose all those other compensations and problems you had with your swing that the strong grip band-aid was covering up. But that'll give you a chance to fix them. Don't get frustrated, focus on fixing them instead of covering them up with a strong grip. Stick with a neutral grip. Mm -hmm.